The Free West Papua Movement, or OPM, has called for international action on the conflict in Indonesian-ruled Papua. At a rare press conference in neighbouring Papua New Guinea, OPM representatives were joined by PNG civil society groups and two high-profile MPs pushing for a change in the PNG government's policy on West Papua. Johnny Blades reports. The press conference was a chance for the OPM and its armed wing, the West Papua Liberation Army, to give an update about the army's conflict with Indonesian security forces in Papua's central highlands. OPM spokesman Jeffrey Bomanik announced the movement's official support for the Liberation Army's declaration of war against the Indonesian state. And the chairman of PNG's Union for Free West Papua, Ken Mondiai, said it made sense for the OPM to hold its presser in PNG where they are as one with fellow Melanesians. So these are issues that uh, our, our people in Papua New Guinea, the Melanesian people, are very concerned about. 57 years of struggle where the, the Indonesian military, the armed forces and the police force have killed Melanesians. And this is not right. So our Papua New Guineans have become more and more aware of the issues in West Papua because of the social media. The governor of PNG's National Capital District, Powers Parkop, announced that he's working on introducing a motion in Parliament for a change in government policy on Papua. The Oro governor, Gary Juffa, says the decades-old treaty with Indonesia, which commits PNG to not interfere in domestic matters of its neighbour, is outdated and must be changed. And it has to be done by a Parliament, because it is enacted by a Parliament, obviously. And that's the whole purpose of this gathering. But it is also their statement that no matter what, there is no going back for them. The, the only statement to the Indonesian government is that we are willing to negotiate for freedom, nothing less. You know, they are very determined. As Melanesians, as a Pacific nation, we have to rise up and stand up for our fellow Pacific Islanders. PNG's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Rimbink Pato, has repeatedly ruled out PNG pushing Indonesia on the matter of Papua's political status. But Lands Minister Justin Chachenko says the government should speak up about rights issues while at the same time maintaining respect for Indonesian sovereignty in Papua. We have no issue with uh, our Melanesian brothers and sisters across the border um, airing their views on um, what's happening to them uh, in Indonesia. If uh, human rights are being not um, looked after in another country, it's Indonesians' sovereign right to handle that. But these are also our Melanesian brothers and sisters that need our support on realistic and verified um, accounts. Ken Mondiai says the issue of West Papua should be addressed by the UN. Indonesia has come in in a very forceful way uh, since the 1960s to take over using its military force and the United uh, States of America, the UN, the Netherlands and many of the big countries like Australia are collectively responsible for what has happened in the 1960s up until now. And so they should be responsible to try and fix the, the mistakes of the past. Meanwhile, the OPM said its armed struggle to end Indonesian rule would not cease until Jakarta agreed to meet for peaceful negotiations. This is John-